Blue Face Lester. The Blue Face Lester, or BFL, is a long wool breed of sheep, which evolved from a breeding scheme of Robert Bakewell in Dishley, Lester, in the 18th century. First known as the Dishley Lester, and then the Hexham Lester, because of the prevalence of the breed in Northumberland. The name Blueface Lester became known at the beginning of the 20th century. In the 1970s, the Blueface Lester was exported to Canada. Exported frozen semen from the United Kingdom is now used to expand the genetic diversity in Canada and the United States. This breed is raised primarily for meat, but their fleece is becoming increasingly popular for hand spinning. The BFL sheep may also have brown on their face. Characteristics BFL sheep have curly, fine, rather lustrous wool, which is one of the softest of the UK clip. The fleeces are not very heavy, only weighing 1 to 3 kilograms, or 2.2 to 6.6 pounds. They have no wool on the head or neck although the pattern and shape of the wool is most like the Winsleydale, but having smaller, tighter curls. BFL sheep are recognized through the Roman noses, which have dark blue skin, which can be seen through their white hair, hence their name. BFL rams are put over hill sheep ewes to produce mules, which combine the prolificacy of the BFL with the hardiness and mothering ability of the hill sheep. Mules are the UK's most numerous sheep. Fully grown blue face rams can weigh 110 kilograms and ewes up to 89 kilograms. At maturity, and at the weathers, rams are 90 centimeters or 35 inches tall and ewes are 85 centimeters. Their body type is long, wide, and well muscled, making for good sized cuts of mild lamb and mutton. They have large bright eyes, long, slender, upright ears, a broad muzzle, and good mouths, even in older sheep. Both sexes are naturally polled or hornless, with fleece-free legs, underbellies, and faces. BFLs are not the typical homesteading sheep like Shetland, Icelandic, or the Black Welsh Mountain. These breeds are substantially smaller than the BFL and are known for their ruggedness and their ability to survive on poor pastures and other less than ideal situations. In stark contrast, the BFL is a large sheep and needs high quality, well-drained pastures. Despite its large size, the Blue Face Lester is also known for their sweet personalities in both ewes and rams. The rams are easy to handle. They have a regal gait and a tight flocking instinct. Some members of the flock can be highly food motivated and be trained to come when called. They are relatively easy to halt or train and can then be placed on a livestock stand for hoof trimming, shearing, and other routine veterinary maintenance. The wool. A reason to love the BFL. The wool is fine and dense, making it hard wearing. The fibers do not have scales on their surface like other wools do, giving it a lustrous appearance. It is compared in character to mohair and alpaca due to its diameter of 25 to 26 microns. It spins, felts, and dyes beautifully. It's soft enough to be worn next to the skin. It's a British wool, and it has good stitch definition. Comparing it to the Minero, what is so special about the Minero? The Minero is generally accepted as the finest wool around. The wool is very soft and very fine, but not particularly strong. BFL wool 
is 24 to 28 microns and up to 6 inches staple length, which is longer and not as fine, though this long length gives it an easy to spin quality. But in quick summary, a mineral wool is super fine and crimpy, very, very soft, but not very strong. It's shorter than average staple length, fluffy and warm and felts very easily. Precautions need to be taken when dyeing, and it's slightly tricky to spin. The BFL wool, on the other hand, is quite fine, more curly than crimpy. It is very soft and stronger than mineral. It has a long staple. It's lustrous and drapey. It resists felting, and it's easy to spin. A little bit about BFL mules. In sheep farming, the term mule is referred to a cross between a blue-faced Leicester ram and a purebreed hill or mountain ewe, usually a Swastale sheep. The production of such mule ewes is a widely used breeding management system which offers several advantages to the farmer. Crossbreeding in the heel ewe with a lowland ram brings about hybrid vigor, which brings the best characteristics of both breeds into one ewe that can be used for producing lamb for the table. The hill ewe, for example, the Scottish blackface, is a hardy animal with good natural mothering instincts. She is, however, not very prolific and tends to produce one lamb, suited to harsh conditions. The low lamb ram, such as the BFL, is prolific, producing ewes which give one to three lambs, and capable of producing enough milk to rear them. The cross between the two, in this case the Scottish mule, has good mothering instincts, good sized lambs, and prolific milk production. This mule is usually crossed with a meat type ram to produce these market lambs. This breeding also allows a convenient system of management whereby hill ewes can be reared in difficult areas where other species would not survive to produce lamb. At the end of her productive life, which is around four years, she can be moved to a lowland farm and crossed with a BFL or similar breed to produce mules for market lamb production.